Boston ferns, or Nephrolepis exaltata produce stolons. Understanding this will allow you to propagate ferns and multiply them. What is a Boston fern? A Boston fern is a type of sword fern native to the Americas. It has sword-shaped leaves and grows aggressively. The fern produces these little root nodules on its rhizomes that store water and can also turn into new ferns. It is really tough and can survive long periods of drought and it can also survive being covered in snow. Advise, it is an ideal indoor houseplant. Avoid planting this in your outdoor garden as it will take over. What are Boston Fern Stolons? A stolon is a horizontal creeping stem or runner that can root somewhere along its length giving rise to new plants. Boston ferns are very adept at sending out stolons that will take root if they find soil or dangle over the edge of your pot if they do not find soil. What to do with them? When you get a small stolon let it develop for a while until it starts to look like a little fern plant with leaves and roots forming. If you let this get to the point where the leaves are a few inches long, you can place this new plant in a little pot and let it take root. Once it has taken root, you can clip the stolon, freeing it from the parent plant. If you don't want more Boston ferns, burn the stolons you trim off. Do not dispose of these in the garbage as they can become a problem. What is the ideal potting soil for Boston ferns? Generally, ferns require quite nutrient-poor soils with an ability to hold moisture, but the soil should be well aerated. Boston ferns are probably some of the least fussy ferns, however, and can grow in nearly any soil. If you want a healthy attractive plant, give them soil that is rich in cocoa core, compost, earth, and perlite. A note on Boston fern root nodules. When you repot your Boston fern, you will find the pot may contain these little marble-sized, potato-like objects. These root nodules are water storage organs. This is what allows the fern to survive long periods of dry weather. You can harvest these and plant them in a new pot. If you keep the soil moist you will indeed get a new fern plant. How to grow ferns from spores. Put a little bit of moist cocoa coir in a jar. Find a piece of moss in a shady place and put this on top of the moss. Then take the fern leaf with spores and scratch the spores onto the moss and then close the jar and place it on a shaded windowsill. With time, the fern spores germinate and form tholi, small reproductive organs that then allow a mature fern to form. The thallus looks like a pretty heart. The fern will then grow out of one of these, and in a few months, you see it start to shoot out its fronds. Boston ferns are really difficult to kill, so they make a great indoor plant. If you propagate new ferns, with time, you will have so many Boston ferns that you will probably have to start disposing of stolons. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.